and over to Sri Lanka and Sri Lanka is struggling to secure fresh fuel supplies as it battles economic crisis. The crisis hit country of 22 million people is down to just 15,000 tons of petrol and diesel. It may not be sufficient to keep even essential services running in the coming days. Island nation is wilting under its worst financial crisis in seven decades. Foreign exchange reserves there are at a record low and government is scrambling to pay for essential imports including fuel, food and medicine. Now amid the worsening situation, the government further hiked fuel prices yesterday. The price of diesel was hiked by 15% to 460 Lankan rupees per litre and petrol by 22% to 550 rupees per litre. The previous price hike in May of this year pushed inflation to 45%, highest since 2015. Now, since the beginning of the year, diesel prices have gone up nearly fourfold and it has, of petrol has almost tripled. Sri Lankan energy minister said yesterday that there would be an indefinite delay in getting new shipments of oil and urged motorists not to queue up at fuel stations. The minister added that existing fuel reserves were sufficient to meet less than two days' demand and that these reserves were being kept aside for essential services. He further added that government is planning to introduce a token system for distributing fuel to only limited number of vehicles per day. The system will be enforced at fuel stations with the help of military. It's in a bid to secure fuel for the nations. Sri Lankan ministers will now be travelling to Russia and Qatar. Energy Minister Kanchina Vijay Sarka said the two ministers will travel to Russia today while he himself will be going to Qatar. The ministers would discuss getting more oil from these countries. In the past two months, Sri Lanka largely received fuel via a $500 million Indian credit line, which ran out in mid-June. The minister further informed that a petrol shipment due last Thursday failed to arrive and that no fresh shipments are yet scheduled. Meanwhile, a top delegation from the U.S. arrived in Colombo for a three-day visit on Sunday to assess the situation there. U.S. Embassy in a statement said delegation will explore most effective ways for the U.S. to support Sri Lankans in need. A team from International Monetary Fund is already in Sri Lanka for talks on a possible $3 billion bailout package. Now, unable to repay its $51 billion foreign debt, government declared it was defaulting in April. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.